guys. I'm actually very chubby now. Could be the heat. But it's not the heat. Like, my face is just getting weight. So, yeah. Maybe it won't be cute. But, oh, if you see me sweating, mind your business, guys. Like, yeah, she said, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel again thank you to all the subscribers guys like we are growing siakula we are growing and i'm very grateful for that so thank you so much okay title of the video guys go be it's bad like go be because okay sharp i was in a relationship name for i would say two years two yeah because it was it, there was never a title because of me obviously i never put a title to it because I, I i was just so afraid of commitment after all my past relationships name <clears throat> but it was on and off until um decided to go to k-shop let's put a title on it uh last year so yeah we've been dating it's been like, okay last year yeah it's been on and off for two years, okay, before I confuse myself, but, um... Why do I feel like I'm so close? Let's put it back a bit. How's that? <clears throat> okay. Two years, okay, sharp. This person understood me. This person was supportive. This person loved me. This person wanted the best for me. Jay, Yabo, she was a hands-on person. She, she was giving love, you know what I mean? Like, she was giving love. She was giving me advice. Jay, everything, everything. But because of the person I am, I managed to somehow screw it up. But yeah, yeah it's over now. It happened. <clears throat> I still think about it because I'm like, oh, fuck. I actually had a good thing. But because of everything else that has happened before, I just didn't realize. Or maybe I just thought, you know, I don't know what I thought. But I think because of all the trauma and obviously my, my doings. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Now I'm single and because of the whole oh let me go back yes she was very well, loving she was just an amazing person and she understood um she she, she knew how to talk to me Jay, she was just a nice person and someone who saw me as an individual and not as a trans guy like she saw me as an individual and okay now i'll go back to because of lockdown people are bored okay people are people are in my dms telling me stuff okay and at the moment i am not interested in a relationship i do not want to be flirting as well i don't want to flirt i don't want to do anything i'm not interested because i feel like we're growing so there's no time to kind of like waste time and honestly i just want this lockdown to kind of um ease so i can see a psychologist heal all the parts of me i haven't healed because obviously with all the time on our hands i've done some thinking i see where the cracks are and whatnot oh my god i'm starting to sweat yeah i see where the cracks are and what i need to to work on and all that ish so that's what i'm doing i'm not interested in anything guys so please don't do the things like don't but anyway as i was saying the people are sliding in and for some people it's people who are just interested in knowing what it's like dating a trans guy or people who just want to see what's in your pants or just people who have a bucket list They're like oh, okay cool being with the trans guy tick listen i am not here for that bullshit like i am not here for that i am not the person you will go to or any other trans guy you shouldn't be doing that like you shouldn't be doing that guys like why why as i said we are old we should be leaning into getting into something serious and also just healing and finding that person who kind of connects with you that's what you need a connection like you need to connect and also i think i'm a bit asexual now like i'm not interested in any sexual things because i am so um fixated with the mind like i just want to connect with someone who is also yabonji we connect with the mind someone who doesn't think on the surface someone who thinks outside the box Jay. That's what I'm looking for after I've healed and all that ish. Like someone who understands me and I understand her. And oh yeah, this is just my glasses thing. It's not a... Uh, yeah, but anyway. Yeah, someone like that. Like that's what I'm looking for. So if you out here being like, yeah, I just want to know what it's like dating a trans guy. Fuck off with that ish. Like not here. We do not do that here. So... 
please respect me. I am a human. So as every other human, actually, every other trans guy, trans woman, we're all human beings. We're not your go-to when you want to experiment. So please, please, guys, we please don't don't do that rubbish ish. Don't do that. But yeah, no, guys, I just thought I should tell you guys about my love life. I am single. I'm not looking. And also the DMs again, I will say this. Please, please, please do your research before you ask me anything because I am getting questions from people who haven't even bothered to research. Guys, I am not Google. I am not Google. I Like, I want to answer questions, yes, but I'm not going to sit there and tell you what it is being trans or what. No, guys, please respect me and my time and my daughter, actually. Like, I'm not going to sit there and be like, okay, cool. This is what it is. This is what it means. Google has all of that. <laughs> many 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 sites so please guys i am not your google don't use me as your google don't do that and also can we please keep the chats on messenger or instagram or email if you want to please don't ask for my whatsapp number because if i if i wanted you to ask me questions on my whatsapp i would have put the number down but i haven't i'm not being mean but i have too many numbers on whatsapp honestly and i want to keep it small because i do not want to attract people that are not meant to be in my life like that because on whatsapp i portray everything and anything so i'm not about to show people i do not know everything and anything so please do respect that um yeah guys yeah, I wanted to talk about something deep today, but the heat is just, I'm not having it. I'm not doing it. So, yeah, that's just my love life. You don't have, to, if you did watch up to this point, thank you. If you, okay, if you didn't, then obviously you're not going to see this. <laughs> but yeah, no, guys, that's how it is. Just respect trans people, we people as well. I'm single, not looking. Uh, yeah, yeah yeah and also i wish i had a person who could like tell their side to what it's like dating a trans person because guys sometimes yeah, but we sometimes we become moody or we just don't want to face the world and we become angry and all that ish like sometimes i'll catch myself in the act where i'm just moody and angry and i'm just like what the fuck is wrong with you bro like what the fuck is wrong with you you know but sometimes I can control it, sometimes I can't, and I just need to be alone, or I just need to kind of meditate a bit, and then I'll be fine. But hormones, guys, they do this thing, you know, and it happens unexpectedly. So it's not like, okay, shop at three o'clock, I'm losing it, baby. At three o'clock, I am losing it. It just happens. I'm just there like, bah! and then she's like, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck? What, what the hell? And I'm also like, what the fuck is going on? So yeah, guys, no, see, now I'm rambling, but yeah next video i'm not going to tell you what it is because yay i have topics that are going to be touchy and i'm not sure if i should speak about them or i should withhold because you know how people are actually i shouldn't give a I fucking care i should just go for it yeah guys people just want to you know fit in shoes that are not made for them they want to be cinderellas so i'll actually speak about them and let them be cinderellas and people will think i am fighting i'm not fighting anyone um because the topics I want to talk about have something to do with the L of the LGBTI. So, the L and the T. The T also has its own shit. So, yeah. I'm not here starting gossip or anything. It's just true. It's just what I've witnessed as a person. Me, myself. So, I'm speaking for myself. So, not everyone. Not Yes, I know. I'm speaking for myself and from what I've seen. But, guys, it's fucking hot in here. So, I'm going to go. <clears throat> if this was a waste of your time, I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, also I've been growing a beard guys, you're not going to see it now because I'm using the selfie camera and the quality is very bad. But if you've seen my pictures, you've seen it. So I'm happy. But yeah guys, thank you for watching. Please do share, like, subscribe. Please do like, share, subscribe, whatever. Same thing. Do the things please guys. Um, Yeah.